Hey, how's it going, Dan? This is Max Legault with Shallow Graves Magazine, coming to you at Connecticut Comic Con, or Comic Con. This is such a fun time coming down. I can't wait. I hopefully that you guys have come this weekend. We have come to see a star named Spencer Wilder. He has done so many interesting parts, and the way he got into it is a... Uh, it's kind of hard to say. I think they might have gone with body type. What do you think? Oh, 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 who's this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to get into the act. It's a, so, now, from what I understand, you actually got into this. Now, you were originally a champion kickboxer. <laughs> I, I don't know why he would have been so good at it. Maybe it, he did, uh, pretty much sure all he had to do was look at them and they'd back off. This, this man is imposing film <sighs> does not do him justice you think we're you think we're honestly playing this up i'm not bending down much this <laughs> he is a very large man <laughs> also by all accounts from everyone that i know who's already met him a very nice if not flamboyant crazy man <laughs> i'm not crazy see <laughs> we're very happy to meet him oh and a shout out has to go out to the person who got me here and into this and into this mess, Yvette D'Agostino. Can you say hello? Hello, Yvette Gassafini. D'Agostino. D'Agostino. Back there, you would have known her by well, a different I'm name, well, I'm afraid. Get many names like that from back where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as the story we were just talking about goes, he originally was a champion kickboxer, which is fairly obvious. Um, and he went to get a photo done for his, apparently his mother's... Um, collection as he was showing off oh nice, nice. <laughs> right, well. they're pretty good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> just met her <laughs> but we did so he was going for a picture in and somehow that photo ended up with into the hands of a producer uh, so well well let me tell you a story how it happened right I become the Welsh and British kickboxing champion in the UK and, um, no small feet. No, it was all right. Well, big feet. I've got size uh, 13 <laughs> feet, right? And I, I took a picture for my mum, proud son, Welsh champion for the Madeline piece. And I've always had a dream to get into the films. I've always wanted to do it. So I thought to myself, if I get into the kickboxing, get really good, become a champion, then somebody in the audience with a big fat cigar will go, hey, want to be in the movies? He wasn't there, but I got signed up with a, a sports agency down in London when the pictures got sent to them. And then I got an acting agent later on down the line. And that's how it all started. And the first role I played was the werewolf in Azkaban. Oh, God. Oh, my God. And what an auspicious beginning. Gives you a bit of a twitch on a full moon, though. <laughs> but the, uh, but your parts seem so well suited to you. I mean, Minotaur, Minotaur. Uh, Werewolf, Wolf. and uh, and of course the latest and greatest Darth Vader. And I don't know why they chose him at all. It's a just it's a mystery. <laughs> it's not working. Wait, it's not working. There you go. There you go. Ah, please, ah, please. Okay, 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 I'll do better in the interview. I promise. <laughs> but uh, so now, you've come to this area where you originally wanted to do acting from what I understand but that's not where you went it was sort of a dream you wanted to well I was a, I was I was a young boy but I was a very dyslexic boy you couldn't really read or write till I was you know in my 30s literally you know that's how like you know not so long ago it is and um, and I got to live a dream and uh, in the boxing ring become a champion and then I got to no live another dream by getting signed up and you know become a physical actor in the, in the, in, in the movies so, you know, now, now I'm delivering dialogue with the big boys. And now I work for the Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a role that we keep goes, keeps going on and on. Yeah. Now, so is that where your roles are going right now? Is there anything else new that's coming down the line? Or you sort of sort of take them as they come? Um, yeah, whatever role comes along, then, then it's my path. And thank you very much for another job. Oh. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mr. Wilder. This has been an amazing time meeting you. I hope you all do also come down and meet Mr. Wilder. And it has been an absolute, absolute pleasure, pleasure, sir. Take care and out there. A very large man, a very great man. Please come down and see him. Definitely go see his movies. We want to support people like this. Thank you very much. May the force be with you. <laughs> That was really good. Like that, like yeah, see, you should be doing the voiceovers. Absolutely. All right. Max Legault, Spencer Wilder, Shallow Graves Magazine. Wilding. Wilding, pardon me. I don't know. Wilder, I 
I think kind of goes more with your character. Do you know what my name is? Backwards, Spencer Wilding. No. Giddily Reckneps. Hey. I don't know how I didn't know that. <laughs> well, thank you. Max Legault, Shallow Grace Magazine. Signing off, maybe for good. James Earl Jones, the legend, can uh, put the voice in. So, but when I get into the character, yes. when I get into the character, this is the voice that came through me. Uh, so it goes, right. Don't get scared now. So. Don't be too sure that the Emperor is as impressed with you as you are with yourself, Director. Reckless ambition is not a quality the Emperor admires, but your efforts will still be rewarded. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha